Welcome to Lane Stadium in Blacksburg, 17th ranked Virginia Tech at East Carolina. The Hokies coming off one of the biggest upset wins of the young college football season. Their defense a big reason why seven sacks last week against the Buckeyes in Columbus. The last four times Virginia Tech has beaten the ranked team, they've lost the next game three times. And Carden with... The first pass, and it's pulled in for a first down at the 35 by Justin Hardy. Right off the bat, you see Shane Carden hooking up. Deep pass, one-on-one -on -one coverage, and a beautiful catch by Jimmy Williams. Third down and two. Pressure off the edge, and it's batted up in the air and caught. And it's a first down running. It's Bryce Williams inside the 10 to the 5. As we mentioned, Carolina got down here last week against the Gamecocks. Couldn't finish the drive. What will happen here? Carden throwing a fade, and it's caught. That's a touchdown. It's Bryce Williams. Brewer gets leveled as he throws deep and overshot the intended receiver. Going for Bucky Hodges. Boy, there was a lot of movement there as Carden throws deep. Single coverage and another grab made downfield. This one by Cam Worthy inside the Hokie 25. Carden with time. End zone. Touchdown. True freshman Trevon Brown. And it is 13 to nothing. East Carolina. Brewer steps up and sacked. Couldn't get away from the Pirates that time. They run it, and Breon Allen has a first down and more. Out near midfield. Carden on first down. Here comes pressure, and Carden, beautiful throw and catch. Hardy on the reception, the first down. In this game. And he's going to go deep here. Single coverage with Fuller, and there's a flag. That might be interesting to see who they call it on because Hardy, there were a couple jabs toward the cage of the defender, Kendall Fuller. Well, Fuller just ran him right out of bounds, and if you do that, that's a penalty. Pass interference, defense number 11. That would be accepted. Third down and long. Carden looking that way all the way. And it's a first down inside the 15. A broken tackle at the 10. And finally, Brown, who already is a touchdown in the first quarter, takes it to the two-yard line. That's what they did on the second down play. Instead, they're rolling this side. And it's caught. Touchdown. Isaiah Jones able to stretch out. And it's 20 to nothing, East Carolina. Isaiah Jones. Trailed by 21 points at any point in the first quarter in a decade. Brewer in second and 12. In trouble again and brought down. Touchdown passes by Shane Carden. They've got 205 yards of offense, 174 through the air for one quarter here in Blacksburg. They play East Carolina pretty much every year. Been one-sided of late, and it's one-sided today, but all in favor of East Carolina. Pass over the middle is picked off. There's a penalty flag, but likely a hold. The interception by Hawkins, and it'll be East Carolina ball. Hawkins. Brewer hasn't had in this early season that will kill Virginia Tech. Carden with a ton of running room inside the 10. He fumbles the ball. It's loose at the goal line and recovered by Kendall Fuller. Virginia Tech will take over. Dwayne Alford hacked it out. And the Hokies get it back inside a minute to go. Just one of eight on third down. This is one you, you think you have to have. Third down and three. Brewer. And he got it. It's caught by Ford at the 40-yard line. Brewer with a deep set here. And he's got Ford again across the middle. And Ford is near another first down. Four-man rush. And Brewer waits. And that throw is complete to his fullback as Rodgers breaks tackles inside the 20, inside the 10. Finally, Hokies on the board. Touchdown, Tech. Oh, did he oh, step out there with the right yeah. foot? Yeah, the right foot, but the heel looked like it was up. The runner stepped out of bounds with 34 yards on this. Three 
as we set the game clock to one minute and 19 seconds. Clock running after they reset the ball. Here comes Blitz up the middle. Brewer has to get rid of it and almost caught. It was caught. Touchdown by Isaiah Ford. There's a penalty flag as well. on the board. 21 7 after Joey Sly hits the point after. But it's only a 14 point game, and Virginia Tech will start the second half on offense. And last week, Virginia Tech with a huge road win against Ohio State, one of the biggest upsets of this young college football season. Only 19 rushing yards today. East Carolina thought that it should have beaten South Carolina on the road last week, but they can get back in the group of five best conversation with a win today. Here's Newsom on the jet sweep. And a good play on first down out near the 28. Michael Brewer transferred from Texas Tech. Third career start. Brewer's pass is dropped again by Stanford. That would have been a first down. B Tech was an upset alert. And speaking of alert, look out as he can on backside. Takes down the quarterback Harden for a big sack. Had some chances but could not finish drives. Turned it over on one drive. They're just going to run it. And Anthony Scott pays for it. Williams got the first down. And more. Finally wrestled out of bounds at the 31. Williams. And a little lunge forward will be close. Dominic Lennon on the tackle. Terry Williams in the backfield Man. again. <laughs> He's shaking his head as if to say they can't block me. Well, Virginia Tech, after only 19 rushing yards in the first half, started to move the ball on the ground, 59 yards in that quarter. And they're going to run it here to Isaiah Ford. He's inside the five-yard line. Third down and goal. Brewer going to run for it, and he's not going to get it. Tackled at the two. Fourth down. Brewer. Incomplete. Never was even looking for Hodges and looked like the two receivers, Malik and Cam Phillips, collided and no penalty, so it's ECU ball. 21 0 in the first quarter, East Carolina. Carden gonna get hit. Ball is loose. Arm was going forward. It's incomplete, but boy, Carden took a shot. Third and eight plus. Play clock down to five. Harden going to throw it up this time. Caught again. Cam Worthy. And they finally tackle him at the 48-yard line in Virginia Tech territory. Here they come. And the kick over the head of Stroman, the return man. And it stayed out of the end zone. But East Carolina, despite six guys oh my down there, all they had to do was just Relax and down it, and they panic. That'll be on the Sports Center, not top 10. <laughs> Second and 10, another pass play, and long throw by Brewer. That was a great pass. Cam Phillips on the catch. Pressure coming. Brewer has time. This one is caught. First down to the 15 yard line. Clock at 6:35 and counting. Brewer from behind was about to get hit. Instead, it's four. He didn't drop that one. Touchdown, Virginia Tech. There it is, 21 points in the first four drives. They scored three touchdowns, nothing since. And East Carolina will run the football here. Scott tackled for a loss of about one. Third down and 14, and Cardin running, and he's tackled by Shane Williams. Virginia Tech out of timeouts, so the punt will come with about two and a half on the clock, and the Hokies will have time, but they won't have any timeouts. No need to do that in September. Great punt. Strowman backing up. Strowman across the 35. Strowman across the 45. In the East Carolina territory with 2.15 on the clock. East Carolina showing pressure. And just rush four. Brewer steps up. And the pass is caught. Two guys got a hold of it. Isaiah Ford with the reception. Dietrich Allen had his arms in there too. But on a simultaneous catch, it's the offense's football. 
Boy, it, it looked like the pass initially was going for Hodges. Yes, I think I think it was. <laughs> and simultaneous possession goes to the offense. Got a simultaneous catch. It's the offense's ball. It's a first down at the 30. Brewer to the sideline. Great catch by true freshman Cam Phillips. Plays a role at all here when you're in the red zone. Brewer pumping. Now going to the end zone. Touchdown! Cam Phillips got away from the defender. And the Hokies within a point of tying it up. Do have one timeout left. <laughs> and they have an explosive offense. You know that. Now the kickoff goes out of bounds. Oh, for Virginia Tech, a, a huge mistake. And Cardin on first down. It's Worthy again inside the 40 to the 35. That'll stop the clock to reset the chains. A minute 12 left and one timeout. Plenty of time for East Carolina. It's See if the Hokies bring pressure. Pardon? It's caught. Loose inside the 15-yard line is Worthy. And Worthy to the five and down at the one. Now, how do you handle this? You got a timeout. The clock will start when they reset the chains. I'm going to give him one chance down. Uh, give the ball. See if you can punch this in. I'm not going to rely on my kicker. Quarterback sneak. And there's a penalty marker down. Looked like the, the penalty may have been thrown even before the snap. Substitution infraction on the defense. Half the distance to the goal line. So they can try to run it here if they don't get in. Call a timeout. Allen in the backfield. Carden. And he's going to score. Touchdown, East Carolina. What a response by the Pirates after the Hokies tied it. Looked like we might have overtime. ECU back on top. We knew how explosive this offense was. We saw it in the first quarter. They went stagnant for three quarters. And then when the game was on the line, the final drive on the road in a hostile environment in Blacksburg, they make the plays they need to make to win the football game. Brewer. And over the middle, it's caught. And he's going to head out of bounds. Brewer back to throw. Pressure coming. Brewer steps up. Let's it go into the end zone, but it's thrown way out of the end zone. The game is over. East Carolina wins it in Blacksburg. Shane Carden. Had as good a day as any quarterback has had yet in this young 2014 regular season, throwing for 427, three touchdowns, also a rushing score. East Carolina blew a 21-0 lead. Virginia Tech scored late to tie it, but the Pirates come right back in a short period of time on a Cardin touchdown run. They win it 28-21.